Okay, so we're pretty decent on the road to WrestleMania. With the Royal Rumble being taken care of. <clears throat> this will be a pretty short one because you had four matches and the pre-show. So I'll get the pre-show out of the way. The Brotherhood solid tag team took on a much more experienced tag team in the New Age Outlaws. Beautiful blind tag, Famouser on the Cody Rhodes, one, two, three. Your new tag team champs, six time tag team champs, New Age Outlaws. I guess now they might be Middle Age Outlaws. <clears throat> I will now go into the Big Show Lesnar match. Lesnar attacks Show with a steel chair before the match begins. Match begins. Show hits the KO punch. A lot of floor humping later. Lesnar gets back at the ring, hits the F5, 1, 2, 3, and then begins to assault Show again with the chair. Easily Lesnar's worst pay per view performance to date. It told a decent story, you know, that Lesnar didn't think he could beat Big Show, and Big Show was a much more. Uh, physically dominant opponent, which would be a great story to tell if we hadn't seen Big Show lose pretty cleanly to so many guys over the past couple of months. You know, had Big Show been on a really fantastic tear, this match would have been fantastic. However, Show's been kind of mediocre for quite some time. Orton Cena. This very much felt like they were doing a house show match at a pay-per-view. They did a good job when it came to throwing out moves we hadn't seen. And we saw Orton do an AA do a much better STF. He did an STF almost in like a sleeper at the same time. Looked, looked a lot more effective than John's STS, STF. John did hit an RKO. This match was very bland. These two guys have wrestled each other for so long they don't seem to have anything else new to throw into the mix. I will compare this to when John Cena and Edge fought almost nonstop for a year, their matches were great, they were exciting, they knew how to mix up their moveset. Orton and Cena, they don't seem to throw out anything that's really new and exciting. Also contrast that to, remember when you saw CM Punk and John Cena last year to decide who's going to the main event at WrestleMania and they threw out a bunch of different moves? You know, obviously you had the Hurricane Rana, the Pile Drivers. That match pulled out all the stops. This match, it was the exact same moves done by different people. Very bland. Wyatt's come down to strike John Cena, RKO, or Hinger Champ. Okay. Royal Rumble match itself. Surprise entrance. JBL. Gets in the ring, hands his coat to Michael Cole, gets eliminated. Kane. Comes out in the business suit, tosses off the jacket and the shirt. Yes, so Kane in dress pants. He's been working out, he's bulked up, he's very impressive. He gets eliminated by CM Punk, and then you know it's not the end of him. El Torito. Yes, the Minitar got involved in this. I want to say he eliminated Fandango and then got eliminated. Really bizarre. Kevin Nash came down. Gingerly. Got in the ring, lost big forearm shots, got eliminated. Did a decent job, but it came to him being a surprise. Surprise person to get inside the ring. Your final four. Punk. Sheamus, who returned. Batista. Roman Reigns. This was the time after Roman Reigns had eliminated the other two members of the Shield. Dean Ambrose tries to eliminate Reigns earlier. Seth Rollins saves Reigns. Ambrose and Rollins are eliminating Cesaro. Reigns from behind eliminates all three of them. Here's your final four. Kane gets involved. Eliminates CM Punk. Here's your final three. You all supposed to punk through a table. Here's your final three. Sheamus, Roman Reigns, Batista. Reigns eliminates Sheamus. It's Batista, Roman Reigns. With Roman Reigns' elimination of Sheamus, he beats the 13-year record that Kane held for most eliminations in a single Royal Rumble. Ridiculous. The crowd is now pissed. Constantly chanting for Daniel Bryan. Like they're going to do a 31-person, you know, Royal Rumble. So trades of spears back and forth. Crowd is getting really pissed because like Batista is going to win. Then it seemed like Reigns is going to win. Final reversal, Batista is going on to WrestleMania. Crowd is pissed. I want to talk about the main event of the match. The main event of the show, which actually was the first match. 
Daniel Bryan Bray Wyatt. This match was almost flawless. It had a great amount of build up to it, and these two guys hit each other with everything. Bray did his crab walk. Well, the ending sequence of this match, which was pretty close to a half an hour, when you include intros and all that, that was that's an impressive amount of time to give it this pay per view. Yeah, I think they got almost as much time as Orton and Cena. Daniel Bryan dives through the ropes. Doesn't quite hit Bray very clean. Bray then kind of <laughs> tosses Daniel Bryan, kind of like a sister Abigail, somewhat, into the barricade outside of the ring. That was one, that, that's the move that sets up your finisher, Sister Abigail on the ring, one, two, three, Bray Wyatt wins. But another spot in this match, it was beautiful. They're on the, uh, Bray Wyatt's on the outside of the ring. Daniel Bryan comes running off the apron, jumps, and hits a swingy tornado DDT. Awesome match. These two guys hit a lot of heavy moves, told a great story. That was the perfect match. Crowd, white hot the whole time through, until Bray Wyatt won. And just shut that crowd down. They're like, what do you mean Daniel Bryan lost? So they front loaded this pay-per-view. It's like that was that was the match to watch, was that one. Big show Lesnar did not deliver. Orton Cena is about what people thought it was going to be. Not super impressive because you know those two guys just going to autopilot. They phoned it in for this match. Royal Rumble was great up until the point that CM Punk was eliminated that it became really apparent that Batista is going to win. So that means now our next pay-per-view, you're looking at seeing Orton, Lesnar. Interesting match between those two, Orton and Lesnar. If Orton survives, Orton Batista has a tremendous amount of work they can put behind it. You know, Triple H can really easily put in behind Batista. Batista become your new main heel champion. Works well. It does seem like Kane and, and uh, CM Punk are on a collision course. If not, CM Punk Triple H, which is your definite money match. That is your huge mania match right there. And they are finally showing the signs of the John Cena going towards Bray Wyatt feud. 